Thursday night game, the Colts at the Broncos. We both like the Broncos here, not convincingly, not convincingly, but I think the supporting cast around the quarterback and coach is better in Denver. Yes. And at that point, I think that's I think that's why they win. Right? I think the defense is better. I think the Denver will at least be able to run the ball a little bit with Melvin Gordon. Um, it hurts losing Javante Williams, but I think they'll be fine. Denver over Colts by about a touchdown, I think. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I don't see the Colts really doing anything to No Jonathan Taylor, most to... likely no Jonathan Taylor either. So They're not going to put up points, and I don't think they're going to be able to really stop Denver's offense, even though Denver really hasn't been able to get much going. I, I, I mean, it's the Colts. I agree. All right, let's go with uh, Seattle at New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans actually fared by five and a half. They're interesting as they are one and three. Seahawks are two and two. Seahawks have been, you know, quietly going about their business. They're two and two. Um, we're both going to go ahead and take the Saints here. Yeah. I, I like them at home. I think that's huge. I think the defense of the Saints is pretty legit. I think they're going to be able to slow down. They have to slow down Geno Smith. But, I mean, that's the reality of it. He's been playing pretty well. I think they're going to be able to limit uh, the opportunity that he has to throw the ball down the field. So we'll go with the Saints there as yeah, well. Yeah, Saints. All right, the Falcons at the Bucks. I mean, both gonna take the Bucks in this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I and mean, the Falcons are fine. They're a fine football team, but I, I don't think they're Tampa Bay's level. No, this is our tiebreaker. Right? So this is our tiebreaker. Uh, I like Atlanta nine plus nine though. Atlanta's getting nine points. That's a lot of points. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a competitive football team. They're feisty. That's a lot of points. It's Atlanta though. I never really bet Atlanta, but it's been helping you out. So I'm gonna take a page out of your book. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. And I'm, Tampa Bay, I, I don't think they have found their stride enough yet to be blowing teams out. I think they will eventually. If this game ship. was two weeks from now, you know, I'd probably agree with you. But so you like Tampa minus nine? Like I'll Tampa. take Atlanta plus nine. I like Tampa minus nine. I'm jumping ship on the on the Atlanta thing. It, you have to know when to get into it and when to move out of it. This is a week where I'm going to move away from it. Fair enough. All right, let's go with the Lions at the Patriots. That's another one we're split on. You're going to go and take the visiting Lions. I see. I like the Patriots here. I trust Bill Belichick. I trust them at home. It doesn't really matter who's playing quarterback. They're going to run the football, play good team defense, probably get a takeaway. And I think with Jared Goff at the helm, Belichick eats bad quarterbacks alive. That's what he does. He the Anywhere from 16 down to 32, he's going to eat you alive for your quarterback. So I like my chance with Bill um, almost – coaching uh, the page, the Patriots to a victory. I like the Lions here. Um, they've been playing really good, scrappy football now for the last four weeks. Uh, this last week, you know, lost a heartbreaker almost. So I think they have something to come out and prove this week, something to, to play for. And plus, I mean, that team has just been improving and improving. And now they're getting to the point yeah. where they're they're putting up a good amount of points on offense. Uh, they can kind of... They just need a defense th- there, yeah. They really just need a defense. They need a they're, secondary. Their, their pass rush is really good. Aiden yeah. Hutchinson has been playing out of his mind. And, and so I think my concern with picking the Lions, because I went back and forth, is that what New England's really good at, the Lions do really poorly. So there's big mismatches. They don't stop the run well. Patriots can run the football. It's gonna right? be interesting, though. They, I, you know, they like to throw over the top. The Patriots have a good secondary, right? I just like the Lions, so I, I'll go Patriots there. All right, uh, Bears at the Vikings. We both like the Vikings here, with not a whole lot to be said. The Bears aren't a very good football team. Uh, Cowboys at the Rams. We both like the Rams here. I think the Cowboys kind of. It was that's that's a fluke. I'm sorry, that's a fluke. Winning those three games. That was an easy schedule. I mean, that was not. That's not legit. I mean, that's not. If we actually think that that's a legit football team, just because. Um, let's see, who'd they beat? Oh, I want a favorite them. I just want to see who they beat. No, this website. Either way, so what, they beat the Giants. Um, they beat Joe Burrow, which that's, I guess, somewhat impressive. And then who'd they beat? Uh, who else they beat? Either way, not an impressive schedule. Washington. There Washington, it is. yeah. they play Not an impressive schedule. Game. Now they get the Rams and a bunch of other more difficult teams. I think they're going to get trounced uh, pretty convincingly. Yeah. All right, Eagles at the Cardinals. We'll both like the Eagles here. I think, again, what the Cardinals don't do well is stop the run and play good team defense, point blank. And the Eagles are going to run the football and throw over the top. I just that, – that's it's the reality gonna, of it. It's gonna the be, Eagles are going to dominate. Yeah, I, I think this one can get out of hand really quick, too. I think you can look up by the end of the half and be like, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm turning this one off. Here's the thing. The Eagles are, like, relentless. And you know that Kyler, if he throws a pick or two, has a bad half. Body language can kind of get there. He can kind of be – kind of check out for the rest of the game. I can see the Eagles dominating it's early so, and then so that a being bit, a yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go with the Giants at the Packers. Uh, we'll both take the Packers here. The Giants, look, they play some decent defense, but at the end of the day, they're not going to be able to score points. 
I mean, and, pretty and, pretty honestly, the Packers have a good secondary, decent pass rush. And I mean, ask yourself, Daniel Jones or Aaron Rodgers at the end and, of the day. And here's the thing. Who knows if Danny Dimes is even going to play? Who knows if it's Tyrod Taylor, Daniel Jones? They both got hurt last week. So, well, I don't even know who's going to be taking snaps under center for, for the Giants. So, it's the Packers at Lambeau all day is the side. Yeah. Um, the Titans at the Commanders. Another one we're split on here. You'll go with the Titans. I like Titans. I'm just going to go with the Commanders on a hunch, basically. I just <laughs> This is one where... They're one and three. They're probably getting pretty desperate here. Ron Rivera's probably feeling the heat. Same with Carson Wentz. You know, this is one of those must win at home versus a pretty average opponent where they know in the locker room this is one we have to have. And uh, and a lot of times desperation can be the deciding factor in football games. So that's kind of how I'm going to justify me taking the not very good football team in the Washington Commanders. Okay, yeah, I'm going with, uh, with the Titans here. I like Derrick Henry. Uh, I like... Ryan Tannehill enough um, to, to beat the to beat the Commanders. Um, so, I mean, it just comes. I think, I think Tennessee is going to be able to at least Run. win the time of possession yeah. with in a Derrick yeah. Henry. Uh, just rely on the ground game a little bit. And plus, uh, Derrick Henry is starting on my fantasy team this week, so hoping for the most possible rushing yards there. Valid. All right, let's go with the Steelers at the Bills. We're both going to take the Bills. I just look. I, I like the move to Kenny Pickett, but going on the road to Buffalo in that defense is not a good spot. So, you know, we'll stick with the Bills there. Yep. Uh, Chargers at the Browns. I actually went back and forth. You were pretty resoundingly Chargers. I, I kind of came onto your side a little bit. I just know the Browns can run the football and make Justin Herbert watch more of this game than he wants to, which is the only way that they have a shot. Um, but I will take the Chargers by, you know, we'll go with – by about five. We'll go 27-22 like Chargers. Okay, yeah. I like the Chargers. I mean, I don't see the Browns really pushing back against Herb too much right here. Fair. Um, Dolphins at the Jets. Also went back and forth on the Jets, too, because if Teddy Bridgewater starting, which he will, I, I don't love it. But at the end of the day, like Tyreek Hill said, I'm going to put up numbers with anybody. I agree with him. He will. So will that offense. As Teddy can distribute the football. He's yes. a pro. He can figure that out. I mean, I have no doubt that he can distribute the ball to the playmakers, and they can yard after the catch their way to victory over the Jets. For sure. Uh, Texans at the Jaguars. We both like the Jags here. I, they're rolling. They're, they're yeah, rolling I mean, a Yeah, bit. one loss a, at Philly. That's not a— the, Against the best team in the NFC yeah, right now. Like, come on. Like, that's not a knock. Um, I think the Jags are a much better football team. They have significantly more talent, So, and, and I like their coach better, Doug Peterson. Yep. So at most levels, they're better than the Texans, and I'll take the Jags. Yep, I'll go Jags. Panthers hosting the 49ers, um, but like the San Fran here, they have a better defense. They're going to run the football. Do we like Jimmy G or Baker better? We like Jimmy G better. <sighs> Do we Jimmy like G Shanahan or Matt Rule better? We like Shanahan. I mean, you tell me where the Panthers have an advantage. They I don't. can't find one. They yet. don't. Uh, all right, Bengals at the Ravens. We're both going to take the Ravens here. If this was in Cincy, I'd have to think about it. But prime time in Baltimore, I think I got to go with the Ravens on this one. You got to take Lamar. You have yeah. to. And I, I am worried about uh, Cincinnati's defense. This is going to be a close this game. Is, this is the biggest test that they faced thus far. Close game, but we'll both take the Ravens at home. Yes. And finally, another home team. The Chiefs hosting the Raiders on Monday Night Football. We both mm. like the Chiefs pretty resoundingly, I think. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll get into bets and, and how resoundingly we think that they'll win uh, coming up here in a couple minutes. But I, I think the Chiefs at home against the Raiders. With the Raiders, I, I don't know if they can stop anybody. I don't think so. And especially not Mahomes and a high-powered Kansas no. City offense early in the season. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So to review, we are split. Um I like the Pats at home. You like the the Lions going on the road. Uh, a little bit of an upset there. Um, I will take the Commanders at at home against the Titans. I think you know they're getting points too. So I, you know I, I like the Commanders. They're playing with house money a little bit. And I will take the Falcons plus nine, and you will take the Bucks minus nine as our tiebreaker.